Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video series, we are going to start ExpressJS. Nowadays, ExpressJS is a very powerful tool for writing the server-side code for any web application. In this video particularly, we will cover the introduction, but in the coming videos in this series, we will cover some more important features which will help you out to use the ExpressJS on the server-side for any web application. Before getting started with Express, make sure you have the knowledge of HTML along with JavaScript so that you will be able to write a code in JavaScript which we will be using here in Express as well. As the name says Express.js, it is a JavaScript technology, it means JavaScript is a language which we will use here for writing the code. Apart from that, you should also have the knowledge of Node.js as all the Express codes will be running here in Node environment only. So make sure you have the knowledge of NPM and Node as well. We do have a separate series for the Node.js. You can refer that in order to get started with the Node applications. And preferably you should also have the knowledge of MongoDB. But even though if you don't have, we will cover the MongoDB introduction in this series as well. We will use MongoDB for all the database activities. So let's get started with Express.js as it is launched in 2010 November by TJ Holovichuk. It is nothing but a web application framework for Node.js. We can also create the web applications in Node.js without Express, but using Express will give you some added advantages such as rapid application development and the routing features. It is free and open source software. So even for the server side coding, you don't have to pay for anything. You can customize it as per your requirement. And it is licensed under MIT, that is Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Uh, if I talk about some features of Express, it will give you a, it will facilitate you the rapid application development, as I said earlier, as so many things in Express are done by default. So you don't have to take care of each and every single thing here and uh, it will help you out for the rapid application development. It also allows you for the middlewares. What is a middleware? For example, if you requested for a page and I want to create a session or for some cookies or for any particular things before processing that page request. So I can create some middlewares which will get processed before your final request. So we can make a, your request even more functional and it will help us to serve you better as well. And defines a routing table. As I said, routing is much easier. So for example, if you have a number of web pages here and you want to do the routing things, it can easily be done if you're working in Express. And it also helps you in rendering the web pages dynamically. So these are the features using which we are good to start with Express.js and we'll see in next video we'll see how we can set the environment for Express.